Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Sport Trek 281 VBH. This is a great bunk model, you have double over double bunks in the corner, big super slide over here, and plenty of space up in the bedroom, which a lot of times in bunk houses you lack. If we start off here on the kitchen, you'll see the L-shaped kitchen, you have the thermofoil countertops, kind of like a pseudo solid surface, because it does allow you to undermount that stainless steel sink. And as you can see, it is a very deep sink. Of course, we have a little bit of antifreeze in there, but uh, that wipes up nice and easily. It's nice and cold here in Michigan. But if you take a look, you'll see the high-rise faucet. This does pull out just like so, uh, which is very convenient for washing and rinsing dishes. Also, over to the side is your three-burner recessed cooktop. This just folds up like that, creates a backsplash. The front one is high output. You also see the decorative backsplash back there. I think they did a pretty nice job. On the Furion models, the knobs do light up, and underneath is your oven if you want to do some baking. Furnace is located directly underneath that. You have drawers over to the side. The top one's just a little drop down like so for sponge or soap, whatever else you want to put in there. But as you can see, they are large, full extension ball bearing drawers. If you also come around to this side, you'll see right down here the entryway. I'll open that up. Access to all that space underneath the cabinet. So it's an excellent spot for some of your pots and pans. More storage across the top. This is actually utilized, which is nice. A lot of times it's not in, a, uh, in an RV, but you can see you kind of have like a little tech box there where you can plug in your cell phones, whatever else you want. Again, as I mentioned, storage here, microwave up top, hood directly underneath, nor cold fridge freezer combo. This unit obviously runs off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. And directly underneath that, again, a nice big drawer. Making way back a little bit further, you have the entertainment system. Now, the thing I like about this, especially in this layout, is the fact that your TV is directly across from your theater seats, which is uh, generally the preferred layout, so that way you don't have to turn your neck one way or the other. Some additional storage right up top with the frosted glass. Also, if you take a look behind the TV, you will actually see you have storage there on both sides, and that does run pretty far back. Underneath, again, some more storage there. Also, your multimedia center, and you have the fireplace on the very bottom. In the rear corner are your double over double bunks here. I will sneak in just to kind of give you an idea of size. So at six foot tall, as you can see, I actually have a little bit of head space. So you can actually be six foot one and sleep on the far side. Uh, I believe it's 250 pound weight capacity on there. So uh, it might, might be 300 actually, I'll have to double check. But uh, either way, the fact you can sleep an adult is pretty wonderful. Also, you have dual USB ports on both the top and bottom as well as LED lights. And you have windows there as well and a privacy curtain to close off at night. Right here in the back, your rear corner bath. So I'll take a seat on the toilet, porcelain bowl, making it nice and easy to clean. As you can see, I have great shoulder space, plenty of leg room here as well, so I don't feel closed in and cramped at all. Your sink top is the same style of countertop as you have out in the kitchen there, so the nice seamless uh, thermal foil countertop. You'll see the stainless steel bowl, so upgraded bowl. Underneath, you have plumbing access as well as some additional storage, also your electrical outlet, tank monitoring panel, and you have the leveling system here. This is actually pretty cool. It's called the LevelMate Pro. And basically what it is, is it uh, hooks up via Bluetooth to your smartphone. And as you're backing up, it will actually show you how level the RV is. So that way, you know, as you're kind of pulling back on the campsite, you can uh, jostle it back and forth to find the most level spot. That way it's a lot easier than having to kind of guess and then block up. So I do definitely appreciate that. Of course, mirrored medicine cabinet there as well. And over to the side is the tub shower. Again, as you can see, this one hasn't winterized. We've got a bunch of antifreeze in here. But as far as head height, folks, I'm six foot tall. With this skylight, I have a ton of room. I mean, I could probably be, you know, six four, six five, and still be able to shower in there without having to bend down, which is pretty cool. Right outside of that is your thermostat. This does control the ducted AC as well as your ducted heat. You have an electrical outlet right down below in case you need to plug in like, um, a uh, vacuum or something like that kind of gives you a nice easy access to it as i mentioned the dual theater seating is directly across from the tv and if you take a look at the cup holders you will also see that these ones have some extra features so they light up they're heated and they have a massage feature in there which uh, in a bunk model is something you normally don't find you'll also notice the storage across the top led lights 
plenty of windows letting in a lot of natural light, and your dinette right up here. And this, of course, can easily sit four people. I'll take a seat again, just kind of show you size. So I have pretty good space for my, my torso to the table. I, I have had dinettes with a little bit more, but it's pretty good. More than enough room here for my legs. This does drop down into a bed, although it's not a very big bed, so it's really only for children. If you take a look right here, I like this too. So rather than just have a swing open door where you have to get down your hands and knees to access your storage, they give you these bins. Now, I know they're not you know, super sturdy or probably not very expensive, but they're functional and that's what I like. You know, It makes it very easy to access whatever you want to store underneath there. On the way up to the bedroom, you'll see storage on both sides as well as up top. And then as we walk through, you can see the nice big door here. There's actually, there it is, there's actually a little uh, light there as well if you want. So, you know, if you want to shut the doors and just leave that on, you need to wake up in the middle of the night and go use the bathroom, you know, it's kind of a nice little courtesy light. But you do have doors on both sides that slide shut. The thing I like about this is it makes it very easy to access either side of the bed. A lot of times in your bunk models, it's very hard to do that. That is not the case here. You'll also see the storage underneath, strut, assist, uh, excuse me, strut assisted, so easy to access that. Wardrobes on both sides. And behind the wardrobes, if you take a look, you can actually see that you have uh, little nightstands there, you know, kind of like a little shelf with space underneath. And you have an electrical outlet as well as dual USB port, so you can plug in and charge any electronics. Let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Sport Trek 281 VBH. Right up front is a power tongue jack that does have a manual override in the rare event that it fails. You also will see the light on here, and of course, it makes it much easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Right behind that, you will see two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover, rails here for your battery, and you have a battery disconnect just to make it a little bit easier to quickly kill all power going to the RV. You have diamond notch plating coming up the front, helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by tow vehicles. And you will see a three quarter front cap right above that with LED lights inlaid into it. Around to the side, you'll have solar prep. So that way, if you want solar, simply buy the portal panels, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. Also, the pass-through compartment. You'll see the covered hinge on there, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. It is slam latch, and it is a magnetic catch. If you take a look inside, you'll see that it is a large pass-through all the way through there. Uh, I like the big baggage doors, the big openings, because it does allow you to put some larger items in there. And the light is also motion sensor, so that way when you open up the door, you can turn on if you have it on that setting. Making our way back a little bit, we'll talk about the main entrance. You have the more ride step above steps. They are very solid. You can see here, you can kind of run up and down like that. They just fold right up into the doorway. Aluminum treads on there, so that way they're not going to corrode nearly as quickly. You will also have the, uh, the, the grip tape on there, making it a lot easier to enter the RV. And you have the large foldable grab handle here too. Uh, if we take a look up top, this one does have the power awning with LED lights and a couple speakers outside connected to the multimedia center inside. Another thing I like to point out is this little guy, you have a nice bottle opener there. Uh, works very well and very convenient, plus it's nice and stylish. Underneath, this unit does have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, which will help keep out some road grime, hopefully some of the uh, rodents in the off season, and also will keep things a little bit warmer in colder temps. Right down below, aluminum alloy wheels, again, just like the treads, aluminum doesn't rust. And making our way back a little bit further here, open this up and you will see your entertainment center. So this is cool because you have an entertainment area outside, you can hook up your TV, you have a light in there too. If you don't want a TV, no problem, that just gives you big extra storage. If you want to do some cooking out here, by all means you can do that too. You'll see your fridge for your condiments and beverages, storage up top. Got to pull this guy out a second so you can see you have your faucet and your sink there, as well as the two burner cooktop. Another thing I didn't mention up front, but this one does have the key alike system on there. And that's great because that way it is a unique key to this RV. So your stuff that's in your storage compartments will be uh, better protected. No one's going to walk by with a 751 key and be able to open it. Right here on the back, square tubular bumper with end caps creates a great storage spot for your sewer hose. And speaking of storage, you also have the storage rack. This drops down nice and easily. Just pull the cotter pins out on both sides, then you're going to pull the larger pins out, that drops down. 
This can be used as a bike rack, it can be used for totes, firewood, coolers, whatever else you want to put on there. You also see the rear mounted ladder to climb right up onto the fully walkable roof and you have a camera prep so that way if uh, you want a backup camera having the prep makes it easier to be installed meaning it'll save you money on labor. Cable and satellite inlet are located right there. Right down here, 50 amp detachable power cord. Now this unit is 50 amp because it has a fireplace and it also has a prep for a second AC. So if you plan on doing a lot of camping in hot areas and you want that second AC, this one is ready to go with it. You'll see the outside shower with both hot and cold water access here. Right down underneath that is a black tank flush to quickly and easily wash out your black tank. And up front are your two water connections, both your city water inlet as well as your fresh tank fill. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Sport Trek 281 VBH. If you're interested in this beautiful travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.